Hey everybody, hope everyone is doing really well. Uh, this session is going to be about entrepreneurship. Obviously, entrepreneurship is a really big thing. Everyone's talking about it as a means towards empowerment. Uh, I guess the thing that I always question are the frameworks about what that empowerment means. So, there's a lot of effort being put into innovation for first world economics. How we get things delivered. Uh, the uh, innovations in uh, self-driving vehicles. Lots of other things. And then there are uh, startups which uh, people are looking at very much in the tech space to further our capacity of getting what we want. And, well, very little of it has to do with empowering less than first world economics. So a lot of people that are reduced to poverty in countries that just don't have a way out uh, while we capitalize on using their resources. There's a lot of um, energy being used for crypto and finance, all these things which are very speculative. Yet, even though we try to change that to be more egalitarian, it's just not a model that wants us to be. That's why if the most successful uh, have covert connections with government, uh, Russia is a really good example of that. But that's, that's not to say, oh, it's communist and, and that's an exception. We are surrounded by people figuring out frauds and anything due to our desperation to get rich quick. Even a lot of the videos on YouTube uh, that get a lot of attention are people that, that flex, so it's called, about what they have and whether they have the thing for you to do the same. But very little has to do with being sustainable. And there's, there are many people that are looking at driving being more sustainable, but they're very, very small steps. And everyone will say, take small steps. But the steps are so small and they don't have traction because there's no money in being sustainable. It's just part of how usury currency works. So if we really want to drive being sustainable and not play about it and really respect that we've got to cultivate earth for our survival and not in a flippant way but in a really constructive way, you've got to have an exchange model that supports that. Of course, that's Buxby. It's free. Uh, it it uh, self-stabilizes. It allows people to do what they were what they were educated to do, and uh, again, a lot of uh, there's a lot of impetus with VCs that are hoping to develop more sustainable industry. But again, it's in a very very small uh, market, and I've seen some really good VCs who say they want to change the world for the better, but they're only talking about a very small, uh, that small framework. Uh, I think about decentralization. Um, there's a lot of people saying decentralization is key for more egalitarian banking, finance, uh, and using Bitcoin or similar to establish the value of this, but to be honest, if it's still going to be a commodity currency, still have a cost to it, still need increased energy to validate transactions, then 
it's not going to change very much. It's still just the same version on a decentralized network. That's all. Crypto can be anything. When people say crypto, everyone assumes that it's a just a coded blockchain currency and they're all the same. It's which one you're going to use, but they're not. Buxby is all about, um, is wanting to be uh, egalitarian completely, but it's still on a blockchain. It's just designed differently. You can have, you know, uh, hard coded or soft coded. It doesn't matter. What matters are the parameters, and what that what those parameters are meant to achieve. To be honest, if anything is doesn't address empowering the most people in the most sustainable way possible, it's just not worth it. And if people don't want to take that step, really all you're doing is disempowering yourself and wasting an immense amount of energy on uh, trying to evade um, uh, criminal activity or the scamming or whatever in every other way except changing the currency. It's not going to work. If you really want to have effective change and really utilize your energy properly, you've got to change the currency to something that defaults to be for people to be uh, want to be sustainable uh, by default, without government intervention and having a completely free market uh, able to achieve that as the standard for who will get supported. That's for me the most empowering thing. Empowering thing we can do. Uh, yeah, have a look on YouTube and look at all the scams that people are doing just for money. Won't change while we we'll keep using user recurrency. It doesn't matter if it's crypto or not. Okay, I'll leave it with that and take care.